It came from the dark between stars. At first glance, 3 I Atlas looked like a comet. But then, it started breaking the rules. Its tail pointed toward the sun. It shed nickel without iron. It carried a chemistry that shouldn't exist. And with every observation, one truth became harder to ignore. This object didn't fit, not into models, not into categories, not even into our understanding of what nature allows. 3i Atlas isn't just another interstellar visitor. It's a rupture, a contradiction that's forcing science to rewrite its foundations. Because once you've seen something impossible, you can't pretend the rules still hold. This is how 3i Atlas changed science forever. In July of 2025, telescopes across the Southern Hemisphere caught a strange movement in the sky, a slow drift from the direction of the galactic center. It wasn't fast enough to be dismissed, nor faint enough to ignore. What they had detected was real, and it was coming straight through our solar system. At first, it seemed familiar, a distant speck with a faint coma, the kind of thing astronomers might catalog and forget. But the trajectory was wrong, hyperbolic retrograde, not looping around the sun like a planet-bound object, but slicing through the solar plane at a shallow, deliberate angle, just five degrees off the ecliptic, almost as if it knew the path we travel. They called it 3i Atlas, the third confirmed object to visit us from interstellar space. Before it came, Aumuamua in 2017, which accelerated in ways no natural body should. Then Borisov in 2019, a comet more familiar in appearance, but chemically foreign. Both raised questions, both vanished before we could answer them. But 3i Atlas was different, larger, brighter, slower, and above all, more accessible. For the first time, we had time, time to look, to measure, to follow. From the start, things didn't add up. Its coma was brighter than expected for an object of its size. Its tail wasn't trailing behind. It was facing forward toward the sun. The dust particles it released weren't behaving like dust at all. They resisted solar radiation. They drifted in ways that challenged our models of how cometary material should move. Some scientists suggested larger grains. Others proposed exotic surface structures. None of the answers were satisfying. And then came the orbit. 3i Atlas wasn't just passing by. It was weaving through. First Venus, then Mars, then Jupiter. A planetary sequence so precise it forced a statistical reevaluation. Avi Loeb astrophysicist at Harvard estimated the odds of such a path occurring by chance at roughly 1 in 20,000. That doesn't prove intent, but it does demand attention. To many, 3i Atlas was simply a relic, a frozen shard from a dying star system, flung into the void long before Earth even formed. But to others, it became something more, a puzzle too deliberate to ignore, a visitor with questions written into its very chemistry. And the deeper scientists looked, the stranger the answers became, because 3i Atlas wasn't behaving like a comet. It was behaving like a contradiction. And that's when the real mystery began. It started with a glimmer, spectral lines that didn't belong. When scientists trained the James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble on 3i Atlas, they expected the usual suspects, water vapor, carbon compounds, traces of silicates, maybe a bit of iron, maybe some organic dust. What they found instead was something far stranger. The object was emitting nickel, not trace amounts, not hints or possibilities, but full, measurable streams, about four grams every second. That alone would have raised eyebrows, but what came next fractured the foundation of cometary chemistry. There was no iron, not a little, none. In every known comet, iron and nickel are paired, Born together in the hearts of ancient stars, bound in the mineral structures of planetary debris, they sublimate in tandem when exposed to heat. But 3i Atlas had decoupled them. Nickel was escaping freely, while iron remained silent. And this wasn't just atomic nickel, it was something more refined. Among the emissions, scientists identified nickel tetracarbonyl, a compound known on Earth, almost exclusively from metallurgical industries and aerospace applications a molecule so unstable it rarely forms in natural settings, and never, until now, in deep space. This was more than an anomaly, it was a violation. Some suggested an exotic formation scenario, 
perhaps 3i Atlas, was born in a region of its home system with unique temperature gradients, where iron condensed into core minerals while nickel remained volatile. Others proposed a long history of radiation exposure, centuries of cosmic bombardment selectively altering its outer layers. But none of these theories could fully explain the presence of an industrial compound drifting in space. And none could explain what the object was doing with carbon dioxide, because alongside the metal signature, 3i Atlas was venting gas, CO2, in volumes that dwarfed its water vapor output. The ratio was staggering, eight parts CO2 to every part H2O. That kind of chemical profile doesn't match anything in our database of known comets. It doesn't align with any solar system chemistry we've cataloged. It points to a place of origin far beyond our understanding, somewhere cold, violent, alien. And then came the light. Polarization readings showed dust grains scattering in patterns never seen before. Negative polarization, something typically associated with surface textures unlike anything we've encountered, as if the grains themselves were shaped differently or built differently. Together, these details began to draw a picture, not of a comet, but of something else. A body shaped by rules we don't yet understand. A chemistry that suggests either a natural process we've never imagined, or something we didn't expect to find at all. 3. Iatlas didn't just break models. It broke the comfort of knowing where nature ends and the unknown begins. Science was never meant to be comfortable. It begins in wonder, but advances through contradiction. We build models, not to lock down truth, but to test it, to push them until they break. And when they do, we face a choice, ignore the fracture or follow it deeper. With 3i Atlas, the fracture is no longer theoretical. What began as a comet-like object with a strange trajectory quickly turned into a challenge to every expectation we've ever held about how small bodies behave, how chemistry unfolds in space, and how interstellar matter should look when it crosses our cosmic threshold. The first cracks appeared in the dust and gas it shed, nickel without iron, carbon dioxide in abundance, organic compounds that looked more preserved than anything we've ever seen near the sun. But those were just data points, and science is good with data points. It bends, reshapes, evolves. Theories were proposed, some suggested that in the alien nursery, where 3i Atlas was born, the chemistry of planetary leftovers followed a different path, one where volatile nickel compounds formed and iron stayed trapped in the core. Others pointed to selective radiation damage over eons in deep space, which might explain the chemical imbalance, if not the presence of nickel tetracarbonyl, an Earth-known industrial molecule. Individually, the anomalies could be rationalized, but together, they began to resist assimilation. Then came the orbit, retrograde, shallow, a trajectory that didn't dive from above or below, but slipped almost along the plane of our solar system, five degrees off the ecliptic. That by itself is rare, but the path it took, passing by Mars, Venus, then Jupiter, was even more disturbing. Avi Loeb, Harvard astrophysicist and perennial scientific provocateur, calculated that such a flight path had a probability of roughly 1 in 20,000 to occur by chance. The sequence wasn't just curious, it felt precise. Now, precision doesn't prove intent, but it does raise the bar. It invites the question that every cautious scientist dreads. What if this isn't random? What if it's something else? Most in the scientific community remain grounded, unwilling to leap toward artificial explanations, and rightly so. The universe is vast. The strange is often just the unfamiliar, waiting to be understood. But something about 3i Atlas has changed the tone of the conversation. The resistance to alternative ideas isn't as fierce as it was with Oumuamua. There's more humility now, a recognition that interstellar objects may not follow our rules. That our rules, in fact, may be far too narrow. We've only confirmed three visitors from beyond our system. Oumuamua in 2017, Borisov in 2019, and now 3i Atlas, each one stranger than the last, each one introducing questions that our models were not prepared to answer. No longer can we assume that all interstellar objects are simply frozen leftovers of other solar systems. They're not consistent, they're not predictable, 
and increasingly, they're not explainable. This realization is reshaping more than our theories. It's reshaping our attitude toward the cosmos, where once we looked outward with the comfort of extrapolation, assuming other systems would echo our own, we now face the possibility that we are the outlier, that other regions of the galaxy may produce matter, motion, and behavior utterly foreign to our understanding. That kind of paradigm shift is rare, but it's not unprecedented. In the past, we've learned to let go of Earth as the center of the universe. We've learned that time bends, that space stretches, that particles vanish and reappear without cause. Each time, science didn't collapse. It adapted. It grew. And now, 3i Atlas may be demanding that growth again. Whether it's natural or not, alien or ordinary, 3i Atlas is not the anomaly. It is the revelation that our models were always incomplete and that the universe is still writing chapters we haven't yet learned to read. And that is the most important discovery of all. The most frustrating thing about discoveries like 3i Atlas is that they don't wait for us. They move on, unbothered by our questions, unmoved by our curiosity. And now, as it approaches the sun, 3i Atlas is slipping from view, just as things were getting interesting. Its perihelion brings both potential and loss. As the heat intensifies, deeper layers of volatile material may awaken. Jets could erupt. Surface structures might crack, revealing secrets locked away. Since before our sun even formed, but for a critical stretch of time, we won't see any of it. The sun's glare will blind our best telescopes. Hubble can't track it. Webb must look away. The most important phase of its behavior may play out in silence. Unobserved, undocumented, unresolved, there are options. Juice and Psyche, spacecraft already in transit through the inner solar system, will pass within observational range. But they weren't built for this. Their sensors aren't calibrated for comets, and their missions aren't designed to pivot. Still, some scientists are pushing for reprogrammed maneuvers, minor course corrections that could capture something, anything. And then there's Juno. Orbiting Jupiter with dwindling fuel and a damaged main engine, Juno has been suggested as a long-shot candidate for an intercept. The idea is ambitious, risky, maybe impossible, but it shows how seriously the scientific community is beginning to take this object. 3i Atlas may never return, and letting it vanish without trying to meet it halfway feels almost irresponsible. Because this isn't just a rock from another system. It's a question, one we may not be able to ask again. If we miss this chance, if no images are captured, no close flybys attempted, we'll be left with only the data we've already gathered. Enough to hint, not enough to explain. And that's what makes this moment so difficult. Not the mystery, but the fact that it may pass, unanswered, and long after it's gone, drifting alone into the dark, the debate will continue. Scientists will argue over its nature, its chemistry, its path, but the object itself will be gone. And with it, the best chance we ever had to learn what it truly was. Because even in science, some doors close forever. 3i Atlas came and went like a whisper through the noise. No signal, no message, just motion. Cold, complex, unrelenting. And yet, it left something behind. Not dust, not fragments, but doubt. It made scientists argue. It made instruments reach harder. It made theories stretch until they cracked. And in doing so, it revealed what no one wanted to admit out loud. Our models are fragile. Our understanding is shallow. And the universe is stranger than we let ourselves believe. Whether 3i Atlas was born in some exotic cradle of elemental imbalance or shaped by processes we've never seen or built by hands we may never meet doesn't change one thing. It changed us, not because it answered anything, but because it reminded us how little we've truly begun to ask. And when the next visitor comes, and it will, we'll be watching with new eyes, wider, humbled, restless, because we've seen what happens when the universe sends a question we're not ready for, and we've felt the silence that follows when it disappears. If this kind of mystery keeps you awake too, if you crave the questions more than the answers, stay close, subscribe, leave your trace, because this, this feeling of standing at the edge of what we know, this is only the beginning. And somewhere out there, in the dark, 
The next fracture is already on its way.